In this video, we're going to look at the Earth's atmosphere. We're going to look at the evolution of the Earth's atmosphere, and it is a revision video, because each of the topics we will look at are a whole lesson in themselves. Okay, so we need to look at the early atmosphere. Around 4.5 billion years ago, we believe that when the Earth was formed, the atmosphere, the gases that surround the Earth, were formed by volcanoes. People weren't around then, there was no life on Earth at this time. So it's difficult for us to know what the atmosphere, exactly what it was like. So what we do is we look at the gases given off by volcanoes today to give us a bit of an idea what gases were given off by volcanoes forming the atmosphere 4.5 billion years ago. Okay, so the Earth, Earth's atmosphere was formed by the volcanoes. Most of the carbon dioxide, we know that a lot of the gases given off are carbon dioxide, but there's very little oxygen. Now the oxygen comes from, we believe that water vapour is given off by volcanoes and water vapour, H2O, we think that the oxygen, the small amounts that was there, came from that, from the water vapour given off by the volcanoes. So smaller proportions of water vapour, ammonia and methane. Again, methane and water vapour, these are global warming gases which trap the heat. You can see them that the Earth's atmosphere, with the Earth give, be, having volcanic activity and the atmosphere being hot, it continued to get hotter and hotter. The volcanoes are giving off methane, water vapour and carbon dioxide which are trapping the heat. Eventually though, the activity started to slow down and the Earth began to cool. When it began to cool, the water vapour we talked about the volcanoes emitting was in the atmosphere, began to condense. And when something condenses, that means it changes from a gas, the water vapour, to a liquid, to water. And we believe that that water vapour fell as rain when it condensed. And this is how we believe, and you need to understand, the oceans formed. There are other theories. I often go by, and the exam specification goes by, the fact that the water was formed through the condensation of water vapour and through meteorites bombarding the early Earth. You need to understand both of those. Okay. So then, the atmosphere is heavy in carbon dioxide, but something happens to change the composition of the atmosphere. And we believe that early primitive life forms, plants, came along and began to photosynthesize. So photosynthesis is the process where we use photons of energy, light from the sun, to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose for the food for the plants, because they are autotrophic, and to oxygen. So we believe this process started slowly to change carbon dioxide into oxygen. We also need to understand the composition of the atmosphere today. So you need to understand that the atmosphere is 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Now, there's such a small proportion of all of the other gases that they are only included on any pie chart or graph, often as others. Argon is the next abundant gas with 0.9%. There are changes still happening to the atmosphere now. Some of them, most of them, are man-made, but there are still some natural forms of climate change. Here are some of the man-made forms. So if we look at these cattle, you may think that this is a natural form because cattle produce methane, but because the population on Earth is rising, the number of farms that we're producing is rising, so the amount of methane given off is also rising. The problem with methane is, as mentioned, it's a global warming gas, so it traps the heat into the atmosphere. Okay, here is a terrible picture, but it's actually showing as deforestation. There's lots of trees being chopped down for lots of different reasons. Logging happens in the rainforest where people are paid to chop down the trees. And this can lead to problems. Trees help to maintain the carbon balance through the process of photosynthesis, which we have looked at. If all the trees are chopped down, there aren't enough of them to be taking in the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and giving us oxygen. We need oxygen because we use it for respiration. Without oxygen, we wouldn't be alive. Another process here, which is man-made, is combustion of fossil fuels. Since the Industrial Revolution, more and more carbon dioxide has been given off into the atmosphere. By burning fossil fuels, carbon dioxide is produced, and more and more of this is happening. Here we have examples of transportation. Again, since the Industrial Revolution, where we, the world is our oyster, we can travel by aeroplane, by boat, and by cars, vans and lorries. This is causing um, more carbon dioxide to occur in the atmosphere. Okay, I can just cut that. 